Hey quilty friends, I'm Natalia Bonner and I've got a fun little machine quilting video to share with you today. Some quilting on this fun star flower, I don't know the actual name of the block, but show you a little bit of machine quilting. Now, why I'm so super duper excited about this, on this cute block, I'm going to do a little bit of free motion quilting and a little bit of ruler work, but the ruler work that I'm going to be doing today is going to use all four sides of my four-in-one machine quilting ruler. So you can really see how I use all four sides. They're all really great practical sides and kind of show it all. Before we get to the video though, I do want to mention a couple of things. I do all of my quilting on a Gamel 22 inch machine. I have my stitch length set. So I'm using the stitch regulator at 12 stitches per inch. Now, because I am doing ruler work here, I have the extended base plate on my machine, and I also have the quick change feet, the ruler foot on the machine. You do need to have a ruler foot for ruler quilting. I'm also using one layer of Quilter's Dream wool batting on this quilt, and the threads that I'm using, of course, my favorite threads, so fine on the top and bottom line in my bobbin, and you can pick up most of these products on our website, peaceandquilt.com. Let's get to the video. As I'm stitching out this block, you'll notice that I, on this particular block, will stick with just one color of thread, and it's actually the color number 402, so fine. It blends really nicely with the, all the colors on this particular block. Yes, in the background, I do have a different color of thread and on some of the red prints, but for this one, just one color of thread. So a little bit of free motion quilting. When I'm machine quilting, I like to do whatever I can to really bring my blocks to life with the motifs that I'm quilting on them. So of course in those green sections on the outside, I'm quilting some free motion leaves. Then in those red outside blocks, you can see how I'm using two different sides of the four in one machine quilting ruler. So I'm using the largest curve to create that fun, you know, just a little bit of extra detail, add a little curvature to that block. And I work my way around the block. Yes, I love the look of stitch in the ditch, so I do make the extra effort to stitch in the ditch and work my way all the way around the outside of the block. Then I'll move to the center of the block where I'll quilt this fun little melon type block in there using the very smallest side of the four in one machine quilting ruler. I really love machine quilting with rulers and of course free motion quilting. 